we, the president has real leverage here because uh, Kim Jong-un truly wants this summit. I'm, I'm sure that's what's in the letter. Uh, first and foremost, there's probably some other things in it, but in there is his desire to have the summit. He needs this summit considerably more than the United States and the president has. So we leverage, and I think we should push that leverage, even if it means delaying the summit, to get the kind of concessions we need to get. Yeah, is, is there any doubt in your mind that that's exactly what President Trump is doing? Uh, because, you know, you say that, that Kim Jong-un needs this. Uh, he's got a smoldering hole in a mountain that was a nuclear test site that has the Chinese scared to death. It may not have the North Koreans scared to death because they live with uh, uh, their mortality uh, every day in that dictatorship. Uh, but that's a very big deal to the Chinese. What is their view? Uh, what do they expect to gain here? And how will the interest of the United States, South Korea, our allies in the region, including Japan, of course, Philippines, uh, and China, uh, line up? Yeah. Well, here's what I think happened. You know, back on May 8th, when the secret meeting took place between North Korean leader and Chinese president, after that meeting, remember what took ha what happened? The tone changed. Uh, Kim Jong Un stopped talking about right. denuclearization. Said maybe we won't we won't denuclearize. That is China. Uh, uh, getting involved in a process, resenting the fact that North Korea and the United States were going to sit down and work out a deal, and China inserted themselves in that, likely slowing this process down. We know for a fact, Lou, that China has eased up on some of the sanctions with North Korea. Why are they doing that? To send a message uh, to North Korea that you're still holding to us, and if we can rheostat these sanctions any way we want it, want it to go. And I think that the Chinese are sort of up to mischief here. Secondly, the Russians are obviously in there now, making certain that Kim Jong-un knows that we're on your border, uh, we're a player here, etc. But the key player that Kim Jong-un has got here with is President Trump. Stand by, guys. Trump's ultimate deal for Middle East peace, overseen by Kushner.
Donald Trump can take the Nobel Peace Prize. Moon. M-O-O-N. Princess Diana. I'll go through all these videos on my computer later. I'll see you then, guys.